the project really started with an impossible sounding challenge. And this was to design a very low cost prosthetic knee joint uh, for the developing world. We were told that the cost had to be well under the typical uh, cost of a, of a US knee joint. The goal of understanding someone's need um, in such a unique environment is to really immerse yourself. There was only so much that we could learn in talking to amputees over here, and it was, it was night and day when we went over to India. If we ever had an epiphany, it was probably just getting off the plane. The amputees have a very strong social stigma in India, and that makes it very important in our design process to really immerse yourself in what it means to be an amputee, what it means to be an amputee in India, what it means to be a poor amputee. All of these things really require you to be there firsthand. This is very much an extreme scenario as far as prosthetic design is concerned. Indian amputees might walk further, might have to endure higher temperatures, you know, more mechanical cycles. The range of motion of our knee joint has to be uh, sufficient to allow cultural postures like squatting, which is very specific to that region. One major turning point for me was when I actually wore this prosthetic through a few changes we were able to actually feel what it means to come up against like a flight of stairs. It's one thing to see it as a design requirement on paper, but it's another thing to feel like you're gonna fall, you know, as a result of these mechanical elements. So I think, you know, they're all interconnected, the emotions and the mechanical elements. And the single axis joint, if you ever have it bend when you're not intending to, and you put weight on it, it's gonna buckle and you're gonna fall down. But with the four bar linkage, what you get is this nice little range of stability where if it's open a little bit and you put weight on it, it comes back to center. It helps prevent a lot of falls that would have occurred. The first patient that was fitted was a young boy. His name was Kamal. He was a 16 year old at the time. You know, you can see he's like getting around on this, this bamboo staff that he put together himself. What does it feel like to see the first patient? First of all, it was a a prototype. We had to like file the edges down and the partner actually said hey why don't we try and fit Kamal today with this knee joint. So we, we took a gamble and said well he's a young guy let's just try it. Where you really connect is somewhere after the fact where you, you've, you've seen Kamal walk around on this um, knee joint and, uh, and then you sort of connect with your mind well he couldn't have done that before without this prosthetic. And I think that's when I really just felt proud that we had done something good and this was worthwhile repeating again and again. I think our impact on Kamal is just that we've given him a tool set, you know, these physical pieces of plastic and metal that just help him be confident in his daily life. I mean, yeah, he can walk uh, better now than before, but that's just the beginning. It's not just enough to have one person or 10 people or 100 people. We want to see every single amputee's lives changed by what we do. The need for non-precious prosthetics is universal. We interviewed one patient in the US who wears a $10,000 knee joint and we showed him a video of Sonu Kumar riding a bicycle this summer and he told me that he can't ride a bike effectively with his current knee joint and he was jealous. Consumer product design you know, you need to create things that are desirable for people to buy. With prosthetics, it has been historically that people focus more on like, let's just get this guy to walk, but that's really not enough. I think people will learn, I need to functionally replace a missing body part, but it still has to be something I want to do. When you design something like a prosthetic and you put it on a person and see them walking, and if you can just keep seeing your work making change, you get enough reward from that to keep, keep going forever.